Hi, I'm Christina DeFabio and I'm a graduate student at the um, University of Michigan in the Interdepartmental Program for Classical Art and Archaeology. And I am presenting a poster t titled Context and Craft Production of Lamps from Roman Sepphoris in the Kelsey Museum of Archaeology collection. And so this project really spawned on the idea that um, we'd like to convey to the public how ancient lamps were used in antiquity. And so within this project, I am looking at an assemblage of lamps from the Kelsey Museum of Archaeology storage that came from the site of Sepphoris in the Lower Galilee um, in modern Israel. And so I specifically studied an assemblage of lamps in storage. And, um, this kind of brought on more research within the archaeological context and craft production of these specific lamps. And so we found that they are within, they were found within a domestic setting in a Roman villa and that they date probably from the um, fir late first to um, third century CE. And for the museum education component specifically, we would like to install a touchscreen program within the Roman provincial galleries within the Kelsey Museum. And so, um, to kind of like display how ancient lamps were used in Sepphoris, I would like to kind of have a diagram showing where the wick and the um, would it, where the wick would have been placed and where it would have been lit, and then um, where the oil would have been placed within the lamp. And for the um, lamps in the museum specifically, I would like to create three D models um, in which the visitors can engage with material that is not currently on display and be more active and not looking at things just through um, a glass case. So I created a 3D model using the app 123D Catch. Um, it's available for iPhone or iPad. And so basically the idea is to have these kind of touchscreen models um, within the educational program so that visitors can zoom in and engage and see um, more of the fine details that wouldn't be available to them through photographs or just um, looking at them behind a case. So this is an example of a Roman discus lamp that I have studied. Um, and you can see kind of the molded decoration and the nozzle here. That's just one component of this program which we're hoping to install.